Hello and welcome. We're going to talk about this. Not the original story, which is about a PlayStation executive doing bad things with the primary target demographic of the products he's selling. We're not going to talk about that. You can kind of get the gist of that from this headline. We're going to talk about IGN. And really the media in general and their lack of reporting on this particular item. Now, if you're IGN, a gaming news website, which publishes stories about music, film, celebrity gossip, basically anything and everything that they can get clicks about, why wouldn't you publish an article about a Sony executive? Let's see what Dan Stapleton has to say. You can see it on the screen here. Never heard of him. I bet that's why you aren't seeing anyone covered. It's a guy no one knows. Dan Stapleton is an editor at a gaming news website. And he doesn't know the people that he and his reporters, his staff, cover in the news. Something seems wrong with that. You know? That'd be like a political reporter not knowing who, I don't know, the Secretary of State was. You know, somebody that's enmeshed in Washington and they don't know who the Secretary of State is. Like, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Of course, Dan Stapleton knows who this is. Or, if he doesn't, Dan Stapleton sounds like Dan Stapleton isn't very good at his job. Hmm, or if he'd use his position to do it, that would be Game Industry News. Well, he's probably right. You know, an IGN is a gaming news website. So, let's see what uh, IGN covers. And if they just cover crime in general. Alright, so here we go. First thing, oh, this is definitely gaming news. That's got Pokemon in it. You see the words Pokemon and card. This is a game. This is okay. IGN can publish an article about this, no problem. You know, even though this is just some guy who stole a million dollars worth of Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Wow, that's a lot of cards. Okay, let's uh, scroll down a little bit. Let's see their next article here. Former League of Legends world champion arrested for selling drugs. Well, that's gaming related. He's a League of Legends champion. As far as they know who he is, if they don't know who PlayStation executives are. But, hey, that's a weird story. Curtis Toys La, I have no idea who this is. Okay, great. Cool. Let's scroll down and see what other gaming news they report on. Um. Well, you know, I guess that's kind of relevant. Kevin Spacey, he did play... Wasn't he, like, cast as a NPC in Call of Duty Warfare Future Advanced Modern Times or something? Like, I'm pretty sure I've seen a cutscene that had Kevin Spacey in it, in a commercial. For a Call of Duty game. So okay, okay. That, that I guess we can kind of say that's gaming related. It's from a month ago. It's about being fired from a TV show. Definitely gaming related. All right, next. Um, Seth Rogen responds to Iowa teen arrested with super bad McLovin fake ID. There's no universe where this is gaming related. Suge Knight arrested for murder near set of street. Well, there was like a video game featuring music from his record label, I'm sure, at some point. So maybe you could stretch this as being game. Come on, let's be honest. These last three articles, they're just crime. They have nothing to do with games. Whatever Dan Stapleton's excuse was, he was wrong. So, you have to ask yourself, why would Dan Stapleton at IGN News and his staff, why would they not want to report on a gaming news scandal? Ask yourself that question. And if you have uh, any ideas, you know, you can leave them in the comments below, and uh, hopefully YouTube won't delete them. I have no control over the power of the YouTube gods. They do whatever they want. You all take care of yourselves. You have a great day, great night, great whatever you got going on. 
Hope to see you again next time. Bye-bye.